Good morning and welcome to United World Capital Daily Market Reviews. Yesterday we have seen quite interesting and stressful day in the markets. Oil prices have been dramatically falling. It has been already a second time during the last few weeks when the oil prices have been falling for such a huge amount. The brand has been falling for more than 3% and reached a level of $108 per barrel. The WTI has been falling for more than 4% and reached a level of $88 per barrel. This morning the spread between two marks is reaching $20 per barrel and the oil prices are stable and trading and correcting on the levels they reached yesterday. Mainly there were no any dramatic reasons why the oil prices uh, should fall down so dramatically. Uh, because the prices for the commodities were quite stable and uh, moving in the positive direction. Some kind of a weak macroeconomic statistical data coming from Europe and China were covered by statistics coming from United States, which was very good and was supporting markets during all the trading session. Maybe one of the major factors which could influence the prices of oil uh, has been the news uh, on the situation between Turkey and Syria, which is becoming more difficult than it was before. It is necessary to state that we, we consider what we will see a more weak trend in the oil prices and might be we are going to see oil in the lower levels which we have seen it during the last two months. The next supportive level for oil is only $103 per barrel, which is very, which is very important and uh, definitely it's going to be tested in a short period of time. As to the trading session in the United States, then it was uh, quite good yesterday and the uh, index S&P 500 has uh, ended up its trading session in the green zone and reached a level of 1450 points increasing by 0.4% up. Uh, futures on the S index S&P 500 this morning are also traded up and adding more than 0.4%. Yesterday we have seen uh, some good statistics coming from the United States on the ADP indicators uh, which were much better than the analytics were predicted and made up 163,000 than only 142 were uh, predicted. At the same time it's necessary to state that there are a lot of negative and positive signals coming to the markets and the ratio between positive and negative signals is 1 to 3. Uh, speculators are using every single positive signal, signal to boost up the markets. But in general, markets are nowadays moving in the diapason which we uh, choose uh, um, it at the beginning of September. Uh, it's very difficult to predict what kind of the trend we are going to see in the markets in the long-term perspective. Are we uh, at the recession times or is it the beginning of the economic growth? In order to make up some kind of conclusions, we need to see uh, some line of the signals for at least three, four months. Maybe even better for half a year in order to build up a new trend in the markets. Uh, today, the one of the most important statistical data is the interest rate from the European Central Bank, which most probably is going to be the same and there are not going to be any major changes. We are expecting a more positive and stable day uh, in the markets. But it's obvious that before to see any uh, new direction and before the investors will uh, choose in which directions the market shall go in the near future, the questions of Spain and the uh, question on the fiscal rock in the United States uh, shall be discussed and some conclusions shall be made on these matters. I wish you a very good trading day and I wish you do not to lose any positive uh, opportunities in the markets. Thank you.